This is Sourceable. This is Kasangayahan Festival 2023. Hi guys! We are here in Sorsogon in Bicol to show you what it's like to celebrate a festival here in the Philippines. Let's, Let's go! Hello! First day! We're going to the opening parade! Woo! Opening ceremony, huh? Yeah, oh my gosh, I didn't know a lot of people watches the vlogs from Source of Gold. Yeah, that's so This fun. makes me happy, you know, being here, I feel so welcome by, you know, my, where my family lives. Yeah, mm -mm. and we made a lot of video vlogs from this region because Ava has a Bahai Kubo, it's yeah. like a Filipino cabin that we've lived in. Mm -hmm. And there's some really fun videos for those who want to know what it's like to live in the province in the Philippines. But uh, I think I'm getting a little hungry. Yeah, I think I need some snacks yeah. and water yeah. to energize. Let's go. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. We have halo halo. Do you know what halo halo is? No, tell me. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what halo halo is, basically it's translate to mix mix in English. <laughs> okay, okay. And it's um it's mostly a pampahimagas or um a food a, a drink or like a dessert that you eat to freshen up a little, especially during summertime. It's very popular during summertime. And it's consists of like mung beans, different jellies, banana, um, jackfruit, ice cream. It's just really good and uh, topped with shaved ice. Oh, okay, so let's, che let's check the photo. But hey, check it out. Check out these prices though. Yeah. Wow. So Isn't this one is mostly corn, just corn with shaved ice and condensed, uh, no, evaporated milk. This one is halo halo. Very nice. So dessert time. A lot of uh, things that you can eat here, especially if fiesta, if it's a festival, it's all about food, having fun, dancing, singing, and people just having fun. Oh, Marty! Have your followers. Wow. Welcome, Welcome to Sarah. Entering the gymnasium for the midday show. Let's go. Guys, we're now in the official government building here. Beautiful building. <laughs> So we've been witnessing the show so surprised like it was so good i didn't even expect it you know and i didn't know that there was going to be a big show inside the gymnasium so after the intro show this morning that was kind of the pinnacle now it's lunch time hi. hi christy hi this is christy guys she's the one hosting us here in source yeah Wow, Filipino food. Yeah, look at the plate. Oh my god. Of course, rice. This looks like pork? Is it? Pork is it? puto, no? Pork barbecue. Yeah, pork barbecue. Pork barbecue. Then we have chicken, chicken, chicken wings, and vegetables. Hi, guys. <laughs> Hi. 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 Ano ang pangalan mo? Mom Norma. Mom Norma? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Glad to meet you also. Love you, sir. Good. Guys, we are now eating in the governor's office. Wow. Hi. 
<laughs> Pretty cool. I think it's because uh, it's the weekend. They're selling local delicacies and local products here in this mall. It's as if you're in a market in the Philippines. This is Pili. It's very popular, um, not wow. here in Sorsogon. You use it for cooking? Yeah, in Bicol. No, it's a nut, so you smash it, and then there's a nut inside. Ah. It's a very pop uh, popular nut here in Bicol. Wow, <laughs> fresh style. This is cacao. 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 These are all um, from uh, farmers in different places here in Sorsogon. This is the heart of the banana. This is also a nice um, vegetable with what's, coconut milk. What's that fruit? The flower there. That's dragon fruit. Dragon fruit. Yeah. Hello! So now we're here at the boardwalk and the coastal road of Sorsogon City where you can see beautiful mountain yes. right here. Such nice vibe! Yeah, there's even like a sign here of Sorsogon City. Ooh. And at the back, she's a little shy. It's the Bulusan Volcano. Wow! Yes. Yeah. In there, guys. Mm -mm. That's also where we live. So. Yeah. Such a nice place. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things that you can do here in Sorsogon and I believe that it's such an underrated place to visit here in the Philippines. So number one is of course the whale shark, swimming with the whale sharks. It is the only place here in the Philippines where you can um, swim with the whale sharks eco-friendly way. Yes, we don't feed the whale sharks here. Second is you can go surfing Woo! if you're into surfing. We have a spot here, a famous surf spot, which we will also be showing you later in this video. There are waterfalls here um, that you can also visit. Natural hot and cold springs. Oof. Mm. Oof. If you guys don't know, you have an active volcano and you know what it means that if you have if there's an active volcano, there is a hot spring nearby. Right. And it's not just a hot spring, there are also cold springs here. Mm. Which I think most my most favorite part because here in the Philippines it's mostly summer all year around. So cold springs are the best way to refresh yourself, especially on a hot summer day. Ah. Uh, I am so excited to show you more of my hometown and I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. time now and today is the big opening show there's gonna be some singers and dancers starting right now here we see it okay that whoa this is the space for later the area for meeting hi sorry <laughs> wow guys, there's over a million people, almost a million people here in Sorsogon, in the whole of the province. And tonight there's over a thousand people here. <laughs> big crowd. Guys, tonight after the big show, then this place kicks off. It's called the Bear Plaza. It's open every day. <laughs> and there's a live band that's gonna be playing here and everything. If you like beer, this is the place to go. There's also some food stalls all the way in the back there.
Filipinos are talented. It's crazy. <laughs> Different high schools from different municipalities here in Sorsogon are competing for drum and lyre. And let's see who's the best. But so far, everyone's yeah, like world unreal. class. Unreal. You know, they're so talented. There's so many people also, so we, we decided to come up here to get a view. That's why yeah, a better view. We're upstairs in the office here, so we can see it from above. Okay, Ave. Time okay. to explore a little bit. Let's go. All right, guys, we are now going to go out and explore the region a little bit, visit a friend of us. Oh, I love escaping the city and just coming here to the province. It just instantly hits me with so much energy. Our favorite place in Sarsabon City. Yeah. I can't wait to eat. <laughs> This is like a green oasis. Yes, so if you're here in Sorsogon, if you're planning to go to Sorsogon, check out Chiama Hotel. Wow, my beautiful date. Wow. Wow. <laughs> ang ganda ang bicolana. <laughs> Magayon. Mm. I absolutely love this part of the hotel is that the windows are so close to the rainforest that they planted here. Really done a good job. So when you wake up in the morning, your nature is just in your room. Also because the windows are so tall. So beautiful. Tranquility at its finest. Here in Gubat, Martin's droning because this is the surf spot. There's a surf spot here in Sorsogon, if you guys don't know. And we're here in Lola Sayong watching uh, surfers. Is he gonna catch it? A They're also preparing for the festival coming in tomorrow. And we're preparing the stage here. So, are you gonna surf? Yeah, I really want to. It's been a while. Yeah. Alright guys, so this is the surf camp here in Gubat in Sorsogon called Loyla Sayong. It's where you can go to learn how to surf, hang out with the locals, have a good time. Renting a board for, I'm not sure, they told me 450 pesos. I get to pick a board. Hopefully they have a long board available. It's so island feels here. Check it out. Dogs laying around. I love what they've done here. This is an example of some locals getting together, building an amazing thing. Ring toss. Oh, they even have games here. Playgrounds for the kids made of bamboo. Oh, Ryan. Yeah. So here are the boards we can choose from today. Blue board or which board? Yeah. Okay. Ganda ng color. <laughs> ano ang pangalan kuya? Yeah. My name is Ata. Hello. Hi Ata. Hello. <laughs> All right. Kuya Ata is helping me fixing my leash, and we will be on the waves pretty shortly. Skirt. My husband's gonna surf. Well, I feel. Let's see How if I can do. How do you feel? I feel good. I mean, oh look at that! Oh, perfect! It it's a wave party. Three people surfing right in front of us. <laughs> you think oh. you're gonna catch a wave? I really hope so, because we were here right before the lockdown of the world, 2020, and I just didn't get to surf. So oh, I love surfing. I don't get to do it so often, but I try as much as I can. Wish me luck. Good luck, love. How is it? It's really fun. It's a very friendly break and it's so long. It's not a point break, it's a beach break. So it kind of like, there's room for everybody, mm -hmm. which is very nice. Just had a fun time. You, so like, you haven't surfed in a while. No, I haven't surfed in like six months. So it's very perfect size waves for <laughs> someone who's like a little rusty. But now the, a great job. All the locals are coming out now. Yeah. So many They're talented so people. Good. Yeah. Look at that. Look party <laughs> wave.
Alright, we've been watching five heats of surf. The guys are super talented. I think you guys saw a lot of good footage. We've learned that there's a restaurant hidden somewhere here in the jungle. So we're gonna go in Kaina. Watching the surf competition makes me hungry. Oh. Let's <laughs> go. Let's Check this cute place out. <laughs> Everything's so homemade. I love it. Yeah. Check out the table. <laughs> the chairs. Yeah, every chair is different. <laughs> Apparently upstairs is their co-working space. Oh, cute. Let's go and check it out. Oh, what a creative space. So much color. <laughs> I love it. It just brings a smile on your face, no? Yeah, a lot of painting. Yeah, people are painting here. Oh, that's so nice. There's some books you can read. You know, just hang out in between the surf. Oh. Cheers, love. I'm full. Now I think it's time for dessert. Always leave room for dessert. Luckily, yeah. there's a, a cookie place here. I heard it's really good. <laughs> and they also sell cheesecake. Ah. <laughs> I love this place. Look at the vibes, it's man. Aji Yuki. That Yuki. So if you're here in Sorsagon and want to try delicious um, desserts, check out Aji that Yuki. <laughs> wow. Yes. Here's the pop-up menu mm -hmm. right now. Yeah. Chocolate chip cookie. Chocolate chip with oh. raisin nut. Ooh. Cheesecake. Bas cheesecake. Oh, there's matcha. Oh, oh my god. I you think want I want the matcha. Mm, I think I want okay. the cheesecake. Which one? The plain or the chocolate? Plain cheesecake. Okay, oh, and I'll yeah. have you the have? matcha. You have? That's the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Here's the plain one. at the matcha. Made by Red. At the oh chocolates. God. Oh my god. Here. Plain mm, like a man. Plain. You want the <gasps> matcha? matcha. Oh, oh my god. Meron pa. Asan yung matcha? Ooh, got the matcha. Mm. Okay, let's taste it. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Sarap. Just what we needed. Now it's time to check out the local handicrafts that Sorsogon offers. We are here in Gubad, Rizal Beach specifically, and this is where you can find gel products that you can um, decorate for your home. So today we're going to uh, see how it is made from scratch. And you also notice that some of these products are also seen in some international stores. But here we are in the exact place where it's made. Wow, look at this. I wonder how long it's made. Magano po yung ganito? Huh? 350. 350. So this one is around 350 pesos. Yeah. What is it used mm. for? A decoration. Yeah. What about this one? 700. Yeah, 700. 700 wow. pesos. How long does it usually take po to, to do this? One day. One day. Ah, they make it one day. All in one day. Ayan. So beautiful. I wish I can bring. <laughs> yeah, so they not only have um, uh, large chandeliers, but they also have like smaller pieces. Ayan. And they also make bracelets like these for 20 pesos. Ayan. And a bag. Wow, I like. I really like this bag. Magkano po itong bag? Pwede ko pun tignan. Ang ganda ng bag. It's all made uh, of shell. Let's see the catwalk. <laughs> With the beach. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and it's also I know oh, very spacious. Like let's see. The inside. I can bring my phone here. This is so nice. I'd rather ha have this than luxury bags. Miss Nora, kayo po gumagawa po nito, oh, mga ito. Gano na po kayo katagal gumagawa nitong mga uh, products na ganito? 40 years na. Wow! So, simula bata pa po kayo? Po. Yung sino po nagturo sa inyo? Wala po. Wala? Ikaw? <laughs> ano lang po yung mga... Wow! Self-taught. Uh -huh. 
Magkano po yung ganitong necklace? 35. 35. So, 35 for the necklace and for the bracelet, it's 20 pesos. 20 pesos. Ayan. Yeah. Paano po pagka lahat bibilin? Ganitong set? Uh, 85. 85. So, all in all, 85 for the necklace, Anklet. anklet and bracelet. So, Ate Nora here will teach us how to make a chandelier. We're not gonna make it from scratch, but she's just gonna show like some of the things that uh, he does in order for this to create this. One day nyo lang po ginagawa? Pag ano na, pag, pag ready, ready na yung mga ano, kasi ito sinasangag pa ito. Ah, okay. One day lang pag assemble. Ah, assemble. Pero yung pag so, prepare, medyo matagal pa Okay. Lang. So first, what she does is she prepares everything before she assembles the whole um, chandelier. It really takes time. Forty years of experience mm. versus zero hours. <laughs> <laughs> One minute. <laughs> Mahirap pala siya ipa ano ah. They also have colorful ones that I saw Ate Nora was painting earlier. There's also bigger ones. I think this will be a nice gift, no? Like a half nice housewarming gift to give give to someone. I learned how to make this. I can attest that this is very difficult to make. <laughs> Especially if there's some like designs like this. It just looks easy, but no, it takes a lot of time to make. A local fisherman just came and he's selling fresh seafood. Right? Ah! Wow, alimango! Galing lang po dyan. Pwede nyo po bang hawakan? Wow! I love your basket. That is so cool. Wow! Magkano po yung ganito? 450 lang. 450? Wow! Wow! Ay, laki-laki ko. Mas malaki pa sa mukha ko. It's bigger than my face! This is what I love about Sarsagon. The seafood is always fresh. Mission accomplished! If you guys want to buy like seashells here, go in Rizal in Gubat. Rizal Resort. We are now in the municipality of Bulusan where we're going to check out different weaving handicrafts like bags, mats, and maybe who knows, we'll be able to buy some baskets as well. Wow, check this place out. Oh, the smell here. Yeah, the smell of the... Anong tawag po ulit dito sa... Karagomoy po. Karagomoy. Karagomoy. Yung ano, yung dahon. Yes po, dahon. Karagomoy. Look at these designs. This is beautiful. Yeah, this one is nice. Wow. Embroidered. Ganda. Let me see, let me see. Wow, bigger. Actually, I like that. It's a nice beach bag, Maybe you should have that one. How much po yung ganito? 2,500. This one is 2,500. What about the small one po? 1,200. 1,200. And let's take a look at the inside. Ayan. Yeah, yeah. good quality. Yeah. Huh? It has a zipper. Alright guys, I am now on my way to check out the float competition here. I think it's the same concept where every high school has a float and then they will compete and who has the best designs. Pretty exciting. the streets here in Sorsico City, experiencing this festival firsthand. It looks like the entire city came out to witness it. 
Only happens once a year, colorful costumes. It's a pleasure to be here. It's 32 degrees outside and somehow these guys have energy. They're all smiling and having a good time. Well, actually, I have three, but <laughs> this is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> 